Hi, I'm Ben. This is Emily. This is Alan, and this is our home, a 56-foot narrowboat that we travel the UK canals and rivers on. Recently, we bought a second boat. It's a project boat, and we will slowly renovate it into an extra space. Join us for the ups and downs of boat life as we explore the UK via its waterways. So something happened yesterday. We, first of all, I'll show you what the boat's looking like. It's a bit of a mad mess. So there's our mattress. This is where we're sleeping at the moment. You can't really get anywhere. Kitchen isn't too bad, I guess. This is our hallway. And then this is our bedroom currently. One minute, let me get a light on. So a bit different isn't it? Um, so yesterday I decided to, I really wanted to get this carpet, there's carpet all the way along here um, down the side of the bed and I just thought it was disgusting and I just wanted to get it off and I kind of knew it was going to be like that behind it and then when I did that I basically ended up, I didn't film it because I didn't think it was gonna be very interesting me taking a bit of carpet off but then I decided to rip the entire bed out and the floor and I found quite a lot of mould under the floor which was quite saddening. Um, I sprayed it with some like anti-mould spray but I haven't actually washed it yet so I need to do that again and properly wash it. It's re we're really busy at the moment and this probably isn't the best time to do it but <laughs> I just got a bit carried away. That's why I didn't film it. I just ended up ripping it out. Well Benny helped me. Me, Benny and the crowbar. Uh, yeah, so that happened yesterday. Yeah, probably didn't really need such a big project, but that's what I've got. So I'm going to clean the floor, then I'm going to measure everything that I need, then we're going to go to B&Q, get all the wood that we need, well, hopefully all the wood that we need, and um, then tomorrow I'm going to build the bed. So before... The bed came to about here. Now we're gonna have the bed's gonna come to here and come along here, but we're gonna have a pull out and then part of the bed will, will go up just because I just wanted a little bit more space over here. And I know Benny's only just built these shelves and I love them, but I think I'm gonna put a tiny, tiny wood burner in. It's a bit of a Bit of an update for you, <laughs> bit of an impromptu bedroom ripping out. Yeah, let's get going. And I've got orders to pack as well. <laughs> what an idiot. Why am I doing this now? And Benny's obviously doing his boat, so. We've got all the tools we probably need, but they're sort of in that boat because Benny's building that boat. Right, that's uh, all measured up, sort of. Um, I need to go and look at wood really before I can make proper decisions of exactly how much I need. So yeah, let's go to B&Q. Okay, we're back from B&Q. And the floor is looking so much better now, it's a bit drier and not mouldy. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So we're going to have some lunch first and then we're going to get the wood in. Hey Alan. All right, we've had some lunch. I'm just going to have a bit of a sit down. Um, basically, Benny is actually in his boat today using the tools. So I can't use the tools today to build the bed. So I'm going to have to wait for tomorrow for that. So yeah, uh, I kind of knew that was happening. I've just got going and I want to build it now. <laughs> I'm ex so excited to get it done. Um, but yeah, he needs the drill, he needs he needs the circular saw. Those are the two main things I need, so yeah. So I thought I'd have a bit of a chill before I do some work on my Etsy shop today. And that brings me on to this week's sponsor, Readly. You've probably heard us talk about them before. We love them, we've been using them for months and months now. So it's an app that you can use on your phone, a tablet, you can use it on your PC as well, I think. And it allows you access to thousands of magazines and newspapers. There's even comics on there, puzzles. It's great for safe, safe spacing, for space saving. <laughs> 
which is obviously brilliant when you live in a small space like a boat or you know you travel a lot say you take flights or you take the train all the time you've just got access to like thousands of magazines on your phone brilliant what more could you want it's super easy to navigate you can search for articles as well so say there was a specific topic that you were interested in or that you'd heard about and you wanted to search it or say you want to find a special recipe for I don't know Christmas dinner or something like that you know you can you can search and I'm sure you'd find plenty of things on that actually the other day well it was like a few weeks ago now when we were moving Rambler for the first time and I oh know it wasn't the first time but I was uh, lock hopping with the van one of the trips back to get the van um, I actually got a lift on a really cool old work boat. This really lovely couple just offered me a lift. He was telling me about when he used to work on the work boats in the 80s and he was showing me like photos of, yeah, his work days. Anyway, that kind of sparked my interest in looking further into the history and stuff of the work boats and I found this magazine called Narrowboat and it's like a heritage magazine about narrowboats. It's just like page after page article after article about the history of the canals, about the boats and everything. So yeah, that was really cool. It's been really interesting to read. There's obviously a lot of other um, narrowboat magazines as well. You know, there's magazines on DIY, crafts, cooking, all sorts. Benny's actually been using some of the sort of DIY and woodworking magazines for like tips and tricks. He's not really started that side yet, but it's good. I think it's good for him to get some ideas of how he's going to do stuff when he starts building the furniture bits as well. So yeah, it's it's been really helpful. There's lots of magazines on cats and dogs and pets too. So Readly are giving our readers two months free and you can cancel any time. So yeah, you should give it a go. There is definitely something for everyone. There's so many magazines and newspapers. And thanks so much to Readly for sponsoring this week's video and for continuing to support our channel. We really appreciate it and it means that we can continue to, to make these videos. Right, I'm going to read about more narrowboat history and then I guess I should probably go on with some work in a little bit. What have you done to the bedroom? <laughs> this is not cool. Where's my bed gone? Uh, right, Why so... Why don't you tell me before you start jobs like this? <laughs> Did you not notice sleeping I've in... I've been the... over there. Did you not notice sleeping in the living room last night? That's why you wanted us to sleep in there. Yeah. Okay, so our neighbour has very kindly given us some wood preserver. So it's okay to use inside as well. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, I think he used it on his floors in his boat. So I'm gonna use it on the floor in here. We were thinking of replacing all the ply, but, but it's gonna be so hard to get it off it because, goes, yeah. It's been put on before. This has all been done, hasn't it? Yeah. So and I it's, think it... and it's okay. It's like this, you know, you're giving more, you're putting more jobs in when it's okay. Uh, I'm going to clean it and we'll spray it with the anti-mold stuff as well and clean it up. And then Benny's come up with the idea of using cork, so you can get rolls of it, can't you? Yeah, think? they sell rolls of it. It's like that long. In B and Q, good old B and Q. Yeah, it looks like really good stuff. So what I would we use, like really a cool. spray glue, adhesive <clears throat> stuff, so basically kind of what they've used yeah. for that? and hopefully it'll work. It kind of looks worse than it or is, I think Or you could get tongue and groove for it, or you could do it with put pallets over it. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. I think it'll already be done by the time you comment, but I think I'm going to do the cork thing, because it's like insulating, it's soft, it's nice. It'll be easy to replace if we ever need to replace it. Um, yeah. And I have, I think I've decided that I'm going to get a wood burner for here. Sorry, Benny, for having to take your beautiful shelves down. No, you can't move the shelves. It's all right, I don't mind. That's the wood preserver on. This is a bit damp, really. I'll leave that for a good while, probably a couple of hours. Should we go see what Benny's doing? Hey 
Hey bunny. Oh. Hello. What are you up to? Just have a look at some varnish. Oh varnish. yeah? Yeah. So that's your wall that goes here, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my goodness, look at all these offcuts and pallets. Yeah, there's so much wood in here, there's too much. It's well, got, it's once you. Yeah, but you can start using it soon, can't you? Yeah, the problem is a lot of these offcuts, it's great, but it's not, you know, I need like the right size thing to do these steps. Yeah. And they'll, they'll come in handy later. Yeah. But for now, they're just in the way. And I got did get two pallets, so I've got this pallet wood because I was going to panel with those, so I've done that. So I'm well prepared, but. I'm sort of filling the boat up, but I've just been painting non-stop, so. Cool. The rain's an excuse Yeah, you've just been painting like... a lot, haven't you? Yeah, the rain's an excuse for me to come inside. Oh. This is green. It does look quite green, Bunny. Did it run through all we got last time? No, we got um, Wilco's brand. own or something, yeah. I can't remember. It should be nice stuff. Yeah, it's darkened it, that's what it was like. But yeah, it's not much, is it? I guess you put it's at least two clear, coats on, don't you? I do like the dark stuff. You know, guy's van, he's done a kit out as a camper, and round under his kitchen, it's all like rosewood or mahogany it's beautiful, style. Isn't it? And then he's got lighter stuff on the walls, mm. and it looks cool. So I think I might do a similar thing. I might do some dark stain, dark varnish, okay, yeah. and then I'll, I think this, the ceiling will be light. And maybe the walls, but I might do some furniture dark. Yeah. Just to give it a bit this of style. This van's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it's incredible. And he's got like live edge worktop as well, which I'm yeah. tempted to do. Looks quite green in this light. Work. Right, well, shall I leave you to varnish then? Yeah, that is nice actually. It's just like a, a gentle. Yeah. Oaky sort of colour. Yeah. <laughs> you need to get a light. Yeah. Oh it's, oh, it's really raining. See you in a bit. See ya. Oh, it's, uh, yeah, pretty wet. A few people have said in the comments, um, is has Benny put ballast in his boat? And the answer is, no, not really yet. Because, basically, it's got a new hull, as you know and it's a lot thicker um, metal than it was originally so it's already got more weight in it than it did originally um, and obviously it's got nothing in it and he's going to have a lot more wood in there there's going to be stuff in there. there's going to be water in the water tank eventually the wood burner everything like that so he doesn't want to put ballast in it because he doesn't want it to be too heavy in the end. Also those kind of boats are just wobbly because of the v-shaped hull so they just don't sit in the same way that like a normal narrow boat with a flat bottom hull would so yeah it's always going to be wobbly but yeah it's extremely wobbly at the moment. I can't get the carpet out without taking those shelves out and I can't take those shelves out without the screwdriver and Benny's got it. I mean I can use a manual screwdriver but it'll take ages so, but he's, yeah, he's using the, the electric drill screwdriver thing. So I'm going to stop for today. We'll see tomorrow when I start to build the bed, which should be interesting. It's bed building day. The floor's dried out really well in there. So yeah, I can build the bed. You can see it's a bit of a nightmare in here and we can't get to anything. And it's getting cold as well. So we've got the fire on and it's just not, not ideal. So yeah, my plan is to get the whole thing built today. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Is that good? Is it good there? You going to say hi to your fans? <laughs> it's a hard life, isn't it, Alan? <laughs> Right, well that's some wood in from the van. I'm not going to get it all in because I won't be able to move in here. Get everything ready and then I guess I'll start putting it all together. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing by the way, but <laughs> hopefully it'll work. <laughs>
progress is, I've built the main bottom bit of the frame. Everything's taking so long. And we're about to put the cork. I went. I actually went back to B and Q to get some longer screws and the cork um, roll. So that's going to go on the wall. That brown is. It looks horrible, but it is just old glue, and I cannot get it off. So I'm just going to glue back over it. So this is what I'm using. Um, looks like it should be pretty strong. So let's give it a go. Hey, Alan. Can you, you, this is a bad time. We're about to spray some horrible glue. You just check in what I've been doing. What do you think? She really likes that cork to sit on. It's really nice and warm. Come on, Alan. Come on. Go on. Oh, right, there we go. <laughs> right, I know these aren't the right masks, but we don't have the right masks for the glue, so it's just going to have to be all right for this once. I've read on, on it and it doesn't say you have to put it on both sides which I would have thought you would have had to. Oh onto the surfaces okay yeah. We're not putting it on the rough side. We're not putting it on I the mean, rough? We are putting the glue on the rough side. Yeah right? this is the rough side yeah okay right, ready? Oh I don't like stuff like this. Wow. Fair enough. Ah, it's horrible, it's horrible. Okay, that's been about a minute and a half. Alright, let's get it on. Okay. Oh, there's like a bit of wood, isn't there? I haven't seen that before. Right, it'll tuck under it. Yeah. There you go. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe how well that's worked. That's amazing. Nice. Oh, I've got a splinter in my knee. Nice stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Should be quite, it's like quite good insulator, isn't it, Cor? Oh, yeah. Good idea, Benny. High five. <laughs> that's all right, isn't it? Yeah, I like it. I really like that stuff. Yeah, so. Looks cool. We're gonna do it the rest of the way there, but I haven't got time to take these shelves out to get that carpet out because I still haven't done that. But yeah, at least we can use this space now. Oh, that's really nice. I can't believe how well that's stuck on. Super flat and yeah. Oh, that glue is really good. Okay, back on with the bed build. Let's see how we go. It's getting quite late now. I think it's about four. Had <laughs> a very slow day. You kind of giggle, isn't it? <laughs> Stop it! No. Oh. I don't know what I'm doing. No, I can't. I keep losing things. I haven't been losing things this whole time. Right. Now that you're here. All oh, right. <laughs> you're blaming it on I'm me. Not blaming that's it on you. I'm just saying that's that. A lot of fun. That's not what I mean. I mean. Oh, now you I'm mean trying, like your now professionalism I'm trying to impress you. Going downhill. Yeah, no, <laughs> Now I'm trying to impress you, it's... You've okay, always right. impressed me. I know there's going to be lots of people commenting on how I'm doing this, how it's wrong, what I should have done. This is what I'm doing. They'll all be saying this is high quality. When can you come round to make my bed? <laughs> What's your rate? Oh, that was satisfying. It is 10 to 7 and I did not finish making the bed. It took a lot longer than I thought, but I've made pretty good progress. I've made the main frame and I've cut the planks. There's a really complicated part to this bed and I'm going to try and explain it to you, but this is it so far. So the reason it's like this is because the pe this piece of ply is going to slide on that and be come out to under the gunnel there and sit on another piece of wood there. Um, and then in the daytime we'll push that away yeah so it's like a proper walkway and we've just gained about two foot over here so that's really cool so just for now just so that we can clear the living room I'm just gonna put like a screw in all of these planks across 
so we can just put the mattress back for now but yeah it's all right so there's going to be another button that comes across here and one a leg there a leg there and a leg there and then the problem is because the ply needs to slide in and out there's no way of having these planks on top of anything and they're a little bit bendy these ones will be supported from a button that comes under here and stops about here but like i say because the ply needs to slide in and out we need to try and figure it out i might have to put two pieces of sliding ply and like another runner thing here basically the reason we've done this is so that we've got more room in here we've got more storage under the bed we've got more room over here it's just going to be much better and i'm really excited about doing the new floor as well but it's dinner time i'm excited about dinner we're having blooming corn nuggets and sweet potato fries yeah so uh, I'm feeling quite good about this. It, it's but it's a lot more sturdy than I thought it was going to be. Today, I'm unpacking the van as I have two very exciting packages that got posted to my mum's house. I can't wait for you to see it. I can't wait to see it and unbox it. Let's go over and have a look. If I hadn't mentioned already, I ordered some solar panels and a multi-fuel stove for the tiny Rambler. I ordered the panels, which are here, from Bimble Solar. I tried to figure out a cost-effective way to get some power in the boat. So I've got two 120 watt panels that are pretty good size, they're pretty small, 80 centimetres. I'll get those over there and then I'll show you the stove that I got and we'll unbox everything. <sighs> Alright, I've got some bits out of the van and I've put something warmer on. I wanted to show you in more detail the box that this stove came in because it's super cool. <laughs> it's got even got rope handles on it. The box is cool on its own, isn't it? I know that Emily's still in bed and she's really going to want to see this, but I have to unbox it now and have a quick look, don't I? Tiny dust pan and brush. That's the thing for the top there. Oh, yeah. Probably so you can close it on when it's hot. How cool. Wow, it's tiny. It can take coal, but I'm guessing only a couple of pieces. And it's going to just be for like little bits of wood as well. But they've got a pretty good reputation as stoves, so. I'm excited to see what's up in there in that. And the, um, the flue actually goes on the back there. I guess this is a plate so you can get in and clean it or something, I'm not sure. It's got the fire rope and a little glass front. It's so nicely made. Oh, I can't wait to get this in. You might be wondering why have I got it now when I still haven't built the boat? Well, I want to get it in position 
and it's actually going to affect how I build the wall and how I build the ceiling and the floor is going to be around this a little bit because it's quite an important part and I want to do it safely so I need to have the um, right gaps in the walls and the fire the fireproof walling stuff you can get I don't know the proper name so yeah I thought I'd get it now get it in place and actually it's dropped freezing anyway so if I'm going to be working in here I think I might want a bit of warmth and while we're here let's have a quick peek at these panels so they're actually a really good size they're tiny yeah they're only 80 centimeters long and that wide oh, it's gonna look so good on the roof can't wait to put it in yeah hello hi is that keeping you warm <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's so cold but this isn't on obviously hasn't been on i've come to see your new wood burner i'm very oh, yeah. excited it's just oh my god it's in like a proper crate thing yeah did you not notice that yeah but oh that is so cute oh it's so nice <laughs> that's really cute isn't it yeah it kind of looks like a it kind of looks like a pretend one. <laughs> yeah. Like a model one. Oh, it's really, really nice. The glove is like... <laughs> wow. Pretty sturdy glove. It? Comes with a glove. And a little... Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> That's just... Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. I'm guessing you've shown these guys. Yeah. I've already had oh, it what do you think, guys? How That's nice so is that? Cool, isn't I it? think we should put one in the bedroom. Yeah. Whoa. I mean, there is space now. That was kind of the like, half. It's so mini. Half the it's idea, possible, wasn't it? isn't it? Yeah. And it will keep us warm down the far end. I just love that. It's just de so detailed and nicely put yeah, together, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Whereas I, I used to have a tiny stove in a van, and it was just like a steel tube with a lid on it. <laughs> Look at the little window. Whereas this, it's like. It's proper, it's isn't art, it? It's artwork. It's really nicely made. Oh, that is amazing. That's going to be yeah. so nice in here. And your panels? Yeah, they're very cool as well. Oh, nice. Yeah, I won't get them out, but I can see. Oh, yeah, they're a really nice size, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. you got some real treats, haven't you? I know, I know. Amazing. So All right, exciting. Well, cool. <coughs> right, I'm going to do some work for the panels now. OK, cool. All right, then. I want to show you it. Oh, you're going to show me on the roof, okay. It actually fits here. These swivel brackets on it so you can turn it to the sun. Oh, they're perfect. But look how it fits there. <laughs> it's really nice. But even if that is a bit tight. What, both of them fit there? Well, they'll easily fit. One there and then... Maybe one there and then one just over this because I'm yeah. not going to use that. Yeah, because it'll go over... It's like on our boat, they go but over that way, anyway, don't they? It would be cool to have one here. And one there. And if, if it will tuck in there, yeah. it'll leave like the front free, which would be nice. Yeah, I've just been looking at the packaging of the solar setup and I found this little bag. It's got sweets in it. This will power me on. And also a pretty cool little a pretty cool little sticker from Bimble Solar. I've not been sponsored by them or anything, I've bought all this stuff, but totally rate right what they do. I'm sure you've heard of them if you've looked into solar before, because they're one of the more popular options for solar setup. Okay, well, while Benny's doing all that work in his boat, I am gonna finish the bed today, hopefully. Let's see how it goes. Oh wow, that looks good. So it's, it's basically finished, but um, there's a few bits I need to sort of sort out. But we wanted to just, it's getting on now, it's like half six or something. And we just wanted to be able to put the bed back in here tonight and start sleeping in here. Um, but so 
these pieces apply. So yeah, let me show you. These will have little handles on somehow. Benny suggested like a piece of rope or something that goes through. So they come out and sit on these. And this is another thing, they're kind of just temporary, I've just stuck them in for now. Um, and there'll be a way of these pieces of ply kind of locking in. So maybe pieces of dowel or something. I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure that out. But for now it's absolutely fine. Um, and also I'm pretty sure they're not level, but it's fine, it's fine for now. But yeah, it's super solid. Oh, brilliant. And also, obviously, I need to sand the whole thing properly. So none of these planks have been sanded because Benny's been using the jackery today. So when I get a chance, I'm going to sand everything that needs sanding. I can't believe I've built a bed. It's <laughs> brilliant. I used to build all sorts of stuff when I had vans, but since, since I've been with Benny and he's so great at building things, I've just sort of, I guess, sort of given up, but him having his little rambler boat has inspired me to do some stuff myself in here. Um, so, yeah. What do you think, Benny? I love it! So much storage underneath. It's good. So much storage. Yeah, right, let's get the mattress be in. Way better for storage. Yeah, let's get the mattress in, make the bed, and then we'll show, show you guys. Cozy. It is so cosy. It's nice being high up, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's half past eight. We're tired. We're going to bed. <laughs> Night! Next week, we hit the road and head to West Yorkshire, where I play three gigs in a weekend. We visit Hebden Bridge, and Emily gets to test out a Mad Max mobile. See you next week. Bye!